guys so i am back from vacation paisley is looking at me like i'm crazy we're in her playroom right now um i'm back from vacation i never had a chance to update you on vacation i am so sorry i totally planned to um we had two condos like my whole family was there well not one of my sisters wasn't but most of my family was there and then halfway through the trip my in-laws came and so for the first we had two condos because of that so for the first half of the trip before my in-laws got there my husband paisley and i had our own condo um because we had to have room for my in-laws when they came and the rest of my family was next door so i had every inch i don't film in front of my family i really don't even film in front of my husband my family doesn't even know that i have this channel um but i like i'm kind of getting over filming in front of nick it's been a slow process but anyway so because we had our own condo i had every intention to at least the first half of the week update you guys on stuff and i just straight up did not have time i just straight up did not have any time and so anyway i'm back i'm not gonna go super in depth on my thoughts on these books because now we're at the middle of the month and i'm about to post my mid month wrap up um so you will hear more thoughts on that especially because i haven't read that many books in the first half of the month and so you can just wait for that video but i did on vacation read a fluke by adriana Locke. to be honest i was a little disappointed by this one i ended up giving it three stars um it is a i I honestly can't even remember. I'm pretty sure it's a friends to lovers. Is it fake dating? I don't know, but they just gave into their feelings so fast that I was like, what now? Like the tension was gone way too quickly because they just were like, okay, great. Let's be together. And I like, I wanted that to be drawn out just a little bit more. Um, and then I read Forbidden Hearts by Corinne Michaels. I wanted to read this one anyway. This is a newer release. Um, but I thought... I thought she was going to be a book bonanza, which is why I was prioritizing this book. And she is not this year. I don't know where I got that. She was last year. So maybe I just was assuming. Um, anyway, but I really, really loved this one. I gave this one five stars. There is kind of a twist in it that I didn't see coming. Um, when it first happened, I was annoyed. And then the way that it, oh my gosh, the way that it ended up being like, not resolved, but anyway, I did enjoy that. Hey, come here. You want mama hold you? Do you want mama to hold you? Come here, come here, come here. And then I started Wildcat by Rebecca Jenshack. I finished that after getting home, but I really, really loved that one as well. I think I ended up giving it four stars. Sorry, we're so whiny. Um. Anyway, so that is it. That is my vacation vlog. I did not get to read as much as I wanted, but I did actually accomplish more than I thought I was going to, especially for how busy we were um, and how much family time like I wanted to prioritize. I'm gonna stop because that's annoying. And I'm going to go figure out what she needs. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I know it was short and sweet and not so much, not so much reading focused as they usually are. But if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.